Hello, my awesome students. How are you? Today, we will complete Unit 2, Crime Doesn't Pay. Lesson 4, Conversation, and Lesson 5, Listening. We will make use of real talk phrases in a conversation. We will also ask and answer some questions about the conversation. After that, we will listen to the lecture on safety. Take notes to complete the chart. At first, who can describe this picture? Excellent. There is someone who steals a wallet. It's called pickpocketing. Pickpocketing is, a, is stealing pocket or money. What is the punishment for pickpocketing in our Islam? In Islam, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والسارق والسارقة فاقطعوا أيديهما جزاء بما كسبا نكالا من الله والله عزيز حكيم. Now we will listen a conversation between Albert and Ali about pickpocketing. <coughs> Then we will determine new vocabulary and phrases. Listen carefully, please. When traveling in cities, I used to worry about being pickpocketed. Then I learned how pickpockets do it. That taught me how to prevent it from happening to me. So how do they do it? Well, to begin with, they look for someone on the street who has stopped to look at buildings or people. That's one of the reasons tourists are an easy mark. Then what happens? The pickpocket will often pretend to bump into the victim by accident. He might act as if he's dizzy. He may ask you where you're from, act really friendly, and try to shake your hand. Then what? At this point, he might pretend to lose his balance and fall against you, like this. Then what? That's it. You've let your guard down. And consequently, he's nabbed your wallet. Are you kidding? Come on, my wallet couldn't possibly be stolen that easily. Are you sure? I'm positive. Then what's this in my hand? My wallet! Okay, what about the first new vocabulary? Pump. Pump means hit someone or shock someone. The next word is dizzy. Dizzy means faint or lightheaded. This is the new phrases, easy mark likely victims by accident not on purpose or by chance let your guard down not be careful enough not stolen are you getting are you joking come on please be serious i'm positive i'm certain i'm sure now we will ask and answer some questions about this conversation Number one, what crime are the people talking about? Are they talking about kidnapping or pickpocketing or killing? Excellent, they are talking about pickpocketing. Number two, how does the crime happen? Explain the steps. Look for someone who isn't walking, pretended to pump into the victim by accident, Shake victim's hand, act really friendly, take wallet and walk away. The third question is an open question. Have you or any you or anyone you know ever been pickpocketed or robbed? What happened? Lesson five, listening. Now we will listen to the lecture on safety Take notes and then answer the question. Is it important to take a self-defense classes? I think it's very essential, it's very important to protect you from stealing or a robbery. Let's listen carefully and then complete the chart.
Thanks for coming to our safety tips seminar today. This short class will give you important tips and tools for maintaining your personal safety. One of the easiest and most important things you can do to prevent yourself from being mugged is to keep valuables out of sight. Expensive watches, rings, and necklaces make you an easy mark. They are like an invitation to a mugger. I recommend leaving these things at home to prevent them from being nabbed. However, if you must wear them, make sure that they are covered by your clothing until you arrive at your destination. I had been wearing an expensive watch earlier in the day. I took it off before leaving home. Whenever possible, travel with at least one other person. When a person is walking down a street on their own, they are more likely to become a target. Another extremely important and basic way of staying safe is to stay alert. Always remain aware of your surroundings and don't let your guard down. While I walked here today, I was taking constant, quick glances around. This gives you the chance to recognize people or situations around you that are potentially unsafe. If you feel unsafe, quickly walk to a well-populated area and, if necessary, get help. Whenever you can, avoid unfamiliar locations. If you must travel through an area you aren't familiar with, become familiar with it. Before I came here today, I had never been to this part of town. So before I left my house, I mapped out the route to get here. I also made sure to find out the location of the local police station. You might also consider taking a self-defense class. I took a self-defense class last year, and as a result, I feel more confident about my ability to protect myself. In fact, while I was taking the class, someone actually tried to mug me. I say tried because, thanks to the class, he didn't succeed. I think these are very valuable advices. What about the word mug? Do you know the meaning of mug? Excellent. It means attack and drop. Attack and drop. And what's the meaning of tips? Excellent. Advices. Advices. Are you ready to answer the questions? Okay, who can complete this chart? Things you can do to stay safe. Keep valuables out of sight, extend. Valuables like expensive watch or golden ring. Travel with another person to help you and support you. Stay alert, stay aware of Alert, awake, aware of, aware of. Avoid unfamiliar location. Take a self-defense class. Number two, why is it important to stay alert? You can recognize dangerous people or situations. This, this is an open question also. Which of these safety precautions do you already take? Will you stay taking others? For me, I think it's important to stay alert and travel with another person. What about you? Okay, thank you, my dear student, and see you soon. Goodbye.